Well, good morning, it's Crazy Cheap Chick, and tonight we are gonna have pepper steak over rice. It's so easy and it's so yummy, you're really gonna like it. I found a lot of peppers on clearance, and that's why I thought, oh, this would be a good night for pepper steak. <laughs> and the difference between uh, peppers, just in case you don't know, is they're all from the same plant. They are green first, then they turn yellow or orange, and then they turn red. And so it's just how mature the pepper is. Um, green peppers are just slightly bitter and um, the yellow peppers or orange peppers are kind of medium. And then the red peppers are super sweet because they're the ripest. But come on, let's make some pepper steak. All I did was slice up some steak and I marinated it in a little teriyaki, a little rice vinegar and a little soy sauce. So that's been marinating for about four hours and now we're just going to um, stir fry it. Now I've cut up one onion, one red pepper, one green pepper and one orange pepper and I've already made the rice. Now if you watch my videos, you know I always tell you the way to make rice is you make rice like spaghetti. So don't worry about trying to measure out water. Just strain it. Okay, I think that's about cooked enough, so I'm gonna take that out. I took out the meat. I did add a little garlic, that's optional. And now I'm gonna throw these vegetables in. So now we're gonna make a little sauce. I've got probably about half a cup of um, brown sugar. You could also use honey, and you can use more or less brown sugar and honey. It just depends on how sweet you like stuff. Um, I'm also gonna add some more garlic in here, because I really like garlic. It's healthy and good for you. That's probably about a tablespoon. I'm gonna add some Chinese Five Spice Blend. This has like cinnamon and anise. It's kind of sweet also. Probably put about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon in. Depends on how much spice you like. Now I'm gonna add some of the stir-in ginger paste. So I gave it a good squirt. That's probably a teaspoon. And I like to put in some Worcestershire sauce. You could also use soy sauce or teriyaki sauce. I mean, it's what you like. <laughs> And we're gonna add just a little bit of water to make this liquid. Even though I've put brown sugar in here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little honey too. I like things sweet. It's probably a tablespoon, maybe a little more. It tastes really, really good though. And I might go ahead and add just a little bit of teriyaki. Not a ton. Probably a tablespoon or so. And then just taste it. I'm gonna taste this. Pretty good. Now, as it cooks, if you need to add a little extra olive oil to keep it from sticking, that's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my meat back in. Now that is looking really, really good. And of course we've got our rice made and I made way too much rice on purpose. Uh, I use it as the basis for my homemade dog food a lot of times. We've got our sauce here. Now real <laughs> um, peppers and steak, usually they put oyster sauce in this sauce. I don't like oyster sauce. That's why I use Worcestershire. And if you want to thicken it, then you're going to add a little bit of cornstarch. Cornstarch is a thickener. Doesn't really have much of a flavor. That was a little too much. Hard to cook and hold the camera. That was a, a bit of a disaster. I poured in so much cornstarch, I had to um, strain it out. But there's very few mistakes in cooking that are fatal. Simple, easy meal. Well, 
this turned out really tasty. And you just put it on top of rice or alongside the rice if you're trying to be extra fancy. Got a nice thick gravy, kind of sweet. Some people like to put a little soy sauce on top of that. Now y'all know I like to be extra fancy. And so I'm gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. So it looks like a restaurant meal. Now that, my friends, is a fine look at meal. Well, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like, share, comment, or subscribe. Have a great evening.